Good afternoon and welcome to Boston Asian Radio and TV English Daily News Today. I am your host, Amanda. Here's a look at the top stories making headlines today. Cornell student is charged with threatening to shoot Jewish students on campus. Suspect identified, charged in string of Quincy school threats, police say. Rhode Island father arrested, charged after accidentally shooting four-year-old son. Postal worker hospitalized after being attacked in Medford. Trick-or-treaters warned of bear sighting on Halloween in South Shore Town. Cornell student is charged with threatening to shoot Jewish students on campus. A Cornell University student, Patrick Dye, 21, has been charged with making threats against Jewish students on campus. Dye allegedly threatened to shoot Jewish students, specifically mentioning an assault rifle, and made disturbing comments about raping and beheading female Jewish attendees at the Ivy League College. Dai is expected to appear in federal court in Syracuse before a magistrate judge Wednesday. New York Governor Kathy Hochul announced the arrest via a tweet Tuesday, just days after the school's message board was inundated with vile anti-Semitic threats. These threats were considered deeply concerning, prompting law enforcement to take action. Dai now faces serious charges for his alleged actions and statements. Suspect identified, charged in string of Quincy school threats, police say. A suspect has been identified and charged in connection with a series of threats made to Quincy schools. The individual, whose name has not been disclosed, is facing charges related to these threats, according to police. On October 25 and 26, long threats were called into the school offices of both Quincy High School and Point Webster Middle School, according to police. Quincy police have not released further details about the suspect or the specific nature of the threats. However, identifying and charging the individual is a significant step in addressing this situation and ensuring the safety of the schools and the community. Rhode Island father arrested, charged after accidentally shooting four-year-old son. A father from Rhode Island has been arrested and charged after accidentally shooting his four-year-old son. The incident occurred, leading to the arrest of the father by local law enforcement. Cranston police said Michael Jones, 33, has been charged with felony assault, possession of a firearm by a prohibited person, and firing in a compact area. Officers responded to the 911 call reporting that a four-year-old boy had been shot by his father at 25 Queen Street around 10:12 a.m., according to Cranston police. At the scene, officers allegedly found Jones holding his son with a gunshot wound to his head. The boy was taken to Hasbro Children's Hospital, where police said he remains in critical condition after undergoing emergency surgery. Postal worker hospitalized after being attacked in Medford. A postal worker in Medford was hospitalized after being attacked while on duty. The incident highlights the potential risks postal workers face while performing their duties. Medford police said officers responded about 11.40 a.m. to a 911 call reporting the assault in the area of Arden Road at Winthrop Street. At the scene, they found a United States Postal Service letter carrier, suffering from apparent facial injuries, who told officers he was assaulted by three individuals while on his route. The suspects allegedly took a post office key from the postal worker and then fled toward Playstead Road to a waiting vehicle. Police said the suspect vehicle was later located in Lowell and a number of people in it were identified. No arrests have been made, the police said the investigation, which is being undertaken in conjunction with the United States Postal Inspection Service, remains extremely fluid and ongoing. Trick-or-treaters warned of bear sighting on Halloween in South Shore Town. Trick-or-treaters in a South Shore town were warned about a bear sighting on Halloween, adding a unique twist to the spooky holiday festivities. To date, there have been no contact or dangerous interactions between humans or household pets and the bear, police said. But out of an abundance of caution, the town will have additional police presence throughout the evening. Local authorities and wildlife agencies typically monitor bear sightings and may take measures to ensure public safety. This can include issuing advisories to residents and deploying resources to deter bears from approaching populated areas. It's important for residents to exercise caution and follow any guidance provided by authorities when wildlife is spotted in their communities. Additionally, people should secure their garbage and avoid leaving out food that might attract bears. Stay tuned for more updates on Boston news as it develops.